Hi, I'm Ron James with the Center for Ethical Business Cultures at the Opus College of Business and the University of St. Thomas. I'd like to welcome you today in another in a series of ethical insights where we try and understand the importance of ethics and values in organizations. Our guest today is Vince Theron. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Vince. Vince, Thank you. Vince is the uh, trans transformation leader with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota. He joined us with uh, a group of uh, CEBC guests today in a roundtable to explore the concept of making values come alive in the organization. How do you actually embed it? Mm -hmm. Organizations frequently focus on the what, that's putting goals and objectives in place, but they have to be equally skilled at the how, and that's the behavioral standards that they put in place. Vince helped us in a dialogue to understand how organizations embed these behavioral standards or values in the organization. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much for being with us. It's my pleasure. We had a great conversation today, Vince. You've got a lot of experience in working with organizations and you've seen patterns. Can you share with us a little bit about how organizations go about embedding ethics and values in the culture? Certainly. You know, one of the things we talked about is that we have to go beyond posters on a wall. And um, the group couldn't agree more and I couldn't agree more. That said, it is important to have those posters on the wall. It's important to really tell people what those values are. Let them see it on the internet and even on the extranet sites so people know that the company at least has and is committed to certain values. And then it's going beyond that to embed it in the culture. And some of the ways are to ensure that the CEO, when he or she is talking to employees, ties whatever topic it is of that day, of that session, to the mission and the values mm -hmm. of the company. And to do that very methodically so that each and every time employees see that CEO understanding and connecting to mission and values. That's one way. It's a very, very simple way. Mm -hmm. Another way is when you onboard employees to have a discussion about values, mm -hmm. to have people take a look at those values, see what they mean to them individually, and the types of things that they can do as they're coming to the company to move those values forward. That's another way from the start you get people aligned with those values. Another thing is to embed those values in the performance management mm -hmm. process. And several of us were discussing how we actually do that, where we take the values and we put them right in the performance plan, right next to the what's. So you talk about the what's and the how's. The what's are what do we actually need to achieve? What measures for excellence? What measures for quality? What measures for output? And then right next to that is how are we going to do that with the company values? And ask employees to self-reflect periodically, how well am I showing those values? And have managers have an opportunity to have that discussion at least annually with their employees, a very practical way of making those values come alive and embed in each and every person in the organization. Um, Another thing is to really define what that means. Define what that means. So for example, with the performance management um, plan, you can also, and we and other organizations have done this, define what the values mean. Define specific behaviors. And in two respects, what does it look like when it's not happening? Mm -hmm. And what does it look like when it's happening? So that it's more than just a judgment. You know, I'm valued or I'm not valued or I, I have values or I don't have values. It's not about judgment. It's about behaviors and really identifying what do those behaviors mean. So those are some of the things that we um, have talked mm -hmm, about sure. on ways to embed it into the organization. Vince, you talked about the importance of um, describing what the values look like in action as well as what they don't look like in action. I know that you had a chance to do some um, look, some analysis of Minnesota companies. Mm -hmm. Share a little bit of the insights of your findings. Sure. Please. In preparation of today's discussion, rather than giving any one set of a specific company values, I thought, let's take a look at what's happening here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I took a look at the top um, 11 companies in terms of revenue, uh, most of them public, but a couple of them private, and did a scan of their websites to see, first of all, can I see their values? As, as the public, and what is it showing? And these are the ones that came up the most frequently. Integrity, nine out of 11. Um, this is a very informal, of mm -hmm. course, poll. Responsibility, or some form of that, seven out of 11. Collaboration, excellence, innovation, and respect. 
And as you look at those, people define those many times very similarly, but differently as well. And so that's why it's important to say with an organization, not just the word, what does that word mean? Mm -hmm. What are the behaviors? What do we expect people to do or say to reflect that behavior? So that's one of the things that we talked about today. Excellent. So Vince, it's very important that organizations define what these values actually mean because they could be used in a variety of different companies. Is there a method that you've used in the mm -hmm. past that helps to foster that conversation? Yes, one of them that we've used at my company and that we displayed at the, at the session today was a tool where we take the definitions of each of the values, right? Mm -hmm. And then we take one value at a time and we ask people using polling, uh, uh, anonymous polling technology, whether those values are aspirational, meaning, you know, we don't really see those as much as we want to see them in the organization today. It's something that we aspire to, but it's not necessarily embedded in the culture. And all the way to reflective, where we can say, yes, I see that every day at the company with behaviors all the way from the top to the bottom of the organization and all around. And so we assess those in a group setting and no judgment at that point. But afterwards, we take a look at each value and we look at which ones are more aspirational, which ones are more reflective. Why might that be from a corporate point of view? What types of things are people doing and saying and actions that the company's taking to make it look that way? There's great value in those discussions. And then the next step is one of the most important steps. And that's where, if this is a group of leadership, which is my experience, each person internalizes those. And they say, which of those are ones that I espouse more or less? And what can I personally do? It ties back to that dictionary mm -hmm. where you get some examples because you've described that mm -hmm. and you can say, here are some things that I can do to espouse and foster these values in my organization. We had a very great discussion today with a number of people who are wrestling with these same issues. Mm -hmm. Were there any key themes that resonated with you from that conversation, Vince? Absolutely. In addition to some of the actions that we talked about earlier, here are some other things that came up that I thought were really powerful and practical to embed. One is, almost every company does engagement surveys every year. This is a great example to weave in questions that are ethics and values related, and then to measure from time to time how well the organization is doing in being, whether it's mm -hmm. aspirational or reflective in those. A couple other examples where people have done toolkits. I know we have done at my organization quarterly toolkits that um, people can imbibe on that have ethics and values related themes. A um, couple organizations were talking talking about having speakers come in, speakers who maybe did a little time mm -hmm. and had really unfortunately been a part of that slippery slope. So people can see this can really happen in organizations, real people, blogs. A couple of organizations talked about some really successful blogs where they put out scenarios and they asked people to respond. What would those scenarios look like? What might I have done? What can companies do? And another one that came up is awards, is to really ta take those values, make sure people know what they are, the behaviors that are aligned to them, and have them nominate people throughout the organization for espousing those awards and then letting people know and recognizing that they've actually done them. Those are powerful tools to embed values in organizations. Our guest has been Vince Theron from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota. Vince, thanks so much for being with us today. Vince helped us explore the concept of the importance of embedding ethics and values in, the, in an organization. It's really about the journey, not the destination, and steps that we can take along the way to effectively embed the values. Please join us in the, uh, for our next Ethical Insights video. This is Ron James with the Center for Ethical Business Cultures in the Opus College of Business at the University of St. Thomas. Have a great day.